so far is there were about 15 to 20 people that were injured. Nine were seriously injured. They've been transported to University Hospital. All their people have been accounted for. So that's the extent of what we know so far. I'm sure there will be local investigators and construction investigators and all kinds of people involved to find out why there was a collapse. You say seriously injured. Are we talking about it right now? All I know is seriously injured. That's the extent that I can tell you right now for sure. I heard there was a, they were pouring concrete uh, slab to the first deck and there was a beam that fell on one guy. I don't know. I was literally driving past on my way in the office. I saw the traffic and doubled back. So I just don't know yet. How many guys were in the ambulance? I, just, I don't know how many of the ambulance, we know that nine for sure have been transported to the hospital. Nine transported to the hospital? Yes, there hospital. were a few transport at the scene that they call in Rock and Wounded due to the nature of the injuries didn't require transport. Okay. And all the people have been encountered. They either came in via emergency vehicle or some were driven in from the scene. Uh, most or all of the injuries are non-life threatening. We expect that most of them would be released by today. Uh, and that is all we have. That's our last update. But and 10 in all are here. Most uh, or all non-life threatening. Most should be released.